Well, well, well. Are you planning to buy a new helmet? Maybe first helmet mo kasi kakapasok mo lang sa pagmumotosiklo or you want a secondary helmet or maybe gusto mo regaluhan ng helmet ang jowa mo pero on a budget ka. Well, look no further guys kasi today we're gonna unbox another helmet and we're gonna review it. Something from LS2. What is going on YouTube? Welcome sa channel ko. Pero bago mo na yan, shoutout portion mo na tayo. <laughs> Dahil may 20 views na ako sa YouTube, may 20 subscribers na ako. Wow. And feeling ko celebrity na rin ako sa YouTube, so magsha-shoutout portion ako ngayon. Shoutout sa mga kaibigan ko na bumati sa akin. Pinost ko first uh, video ko, kala Kate, kala uh, Lane, kala Maki, kala Danka, Renson, kala Sir Philip. Uh, sino po ba? Sino po? Dami guys, sorry. Susunod ako ni Sam. But for today, let's start the unboxing of this helmet. Oh, from LS2. So, this helmet, siguro, uh, dumating sa akin na probably few weeks ago din. Katulad nung isa. Uh, dumating siya 2 to 3 weeks ago. And sabi ko, wag na wag ko munang bubuksan. Kasi as much as possible, I want to keep this unboxing and review as genuine as it could be. So, let me just give you a backstory of LS2 helmets. Well, kung meron mang brand, sa buong Pilipinas that is, you know, one of the most popular brands in the Philippines, it would be LS2. This thing started in China back in the 1990s. It was started by a, a man named Arthur Liao. Nagpupisa sila, dalawa lang silang gumagawa. Actually, he, ha he had to employ just one employee. Dalawa lang sila nagmamanufacture ng helmets for their domestic market. Long story short, company grew and they established their first uh, head office in Spain. Wow. Nung nagkaroon ng LS2 helmet back then, I thought it was, you know, a Spanish or a European helmet nga eh. So back then, they were manufacturing helmets na for other brands. Uh, they were sourcing their helmets na produced to other brands. Bandang 2007 ata lang nung nag-decide na sila na they make their helmets of their own or their own brand. LS2 was born. If you're wondering what LS2 means, it actually means Leo Systems. So, LS Leo Systems. And di ko sure kung pasan yung to. Maybe kasi dalawa sila ng kumpisa ng kumpanyang to. Naging sila na naging leading brand of uh, when it comes to helmets in the Europe. Actually, number one sila sa Europe. And they are responsible for one third ng helmets na pumapakot sa sa US. And ang very first helmet ko is an LS2 sa kaya medyo, you know, medyo malapit ang logo sa brand. So LS2, they manufacture helmets not only for street, which is, you know, the full face helmet. Uh, they also manufacture for uh, off-road, for race, um, for uh, half face, half face helmets, and then dual sports or adventure. Yun. So, this is the LS2 FF353 Rapid. Some just call it Rapid, pero the pinak specific na model number niya is FF353. You know what? Let's start the unboxing and then let's talk about it. First impressions ko, mag share din ako, reviews, and probably whatever that I can share to you guys. Let's go! Here it is! I'm actually thinking na ito yung gamitin kong helmet for for my moto vlog, but I have to decide on that. Because you know what? Lately, I've been crazy over helmets, and kung talagang you're into the motorcycling community, or you know, you really have this passion for motorcycles, you know that one helmet is in, in, is never enough. Wow. Sobrang excited ako buksan na helmet nato para may lagay ko na dun sa wall mount ko. <laughs> so, okay, gusto ko lang i flex ang two camera setup natin yon. Oh, level up, level up. Kamusta yung lighting natin? Okay ba? Na-lighting na rin tayo, guys. Wow! Maka-sense na tayo dahil kumita na ako dun sa first video. <laughs> no! Panoorin nyo na panoorin yung mga reviews ko para magkaroon ako ng pambili ng, ano, ng media equipment. Ah! Wow! Here's one nitpick. Noong unang helmet ko, the very first helmet ko sa with LS2, they had better, you know, helmet socks. Yung carrying bag. This one med medyo naging in quality medyo mas better yun na una ko kaysa dito. 
Mas, well, yun, it's just a carrying bag. Wow! <laughs> so, muna ko napansin. The helmet profile really changed. And upon checking the specs of this helmet, it's a long oval. So, what is a long oval? It's much more narrow or uh, mas, mas, mas maliit siya dito on the sides and much longer from front to back. The first video, uh, the first helmet that I reviewed, diba? Uh, it's an intermediate oval. So, medyo a little bit narrow here on the sides and just a little bit more longer from front to back. This one, mas mahaba talaga siya from front to back kasi long oval nga and much more narrow sa gilid. And right off, <laughs> right? Hindi ko pa siya natatanggal sa lalagay niya pero tingnan nyo, parang itlog. Wow, excited ako. Ito na, ito na, ito na, ito na. Mamaya natin pag-usapan yung presyo but I'm telling you, with my experience with LS2, murang helmet with great value or you know, the quality that it brings uh, considering the price range. Napahirapan pa ako buksan to. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh. Okay, yung graphics king at is called Chromo, and dalawa actually yung yung color way ng graphic style. Chromo high vis or high visibility. Ito sa panalagay picture ng sanman. And then the Chromo orange fluorescent blue. Okay, bagay na bagay sa motor natin because we have uh, orange fluorescent wheels. Bumagay itong dito, ito, itong, itong ano to, itong accent na to, yun, accent. Right, right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo-hoo-hoo, woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Teka lang, asay mo, manual ito. Walang manual? Wow, guys, look, look. Woo, wow. Let me just say, naunang-una ko napansin is the orange fluorescent. Let me just, let me just tell you na yung long oval, parang alam niyo yung parang AGV style na na profile, parang helmet shape. It somehow resembles that. <laughs> Ewan ko, sobrang, sobrang natrack ako dito sa orange fluorescent accent na to. Nabanggit, nag-share ako sa unang video ko about uh, helmet certifications or, or homologations. Frankly, ECE is better than DOT. Kahit i-research nyo. And this is ECE rated. So, for this price na ECE rated na siya, di ba? Sulit. Ito, share ko lang ha. It has the ICC stickers. Technically, dito sa Pilipinas, for a helmet to be used, legally, legally accepted or used on the road, it needs to have the ICC, uh, ICC sticker. Kaya nga nagkaroon ng, parang nagkagulo dati na nagkaroon ng hulihan. Kapag wala kang ICC sticker yung helmet mo, uh, huhulihin ka, di ba? Alam mo naman sa Pilipinas, di ba? Parang sa una lang. But technically, you can be apprehended kapag walang ICC sticker ang helmet mo. <laughs> hindi ako makaget over kasi sa, hindi ako makaget over sa fluorescent eh. Sa fluorescent na, ano niya, na kulay. Nice. Quality. Very evident yung quality ng helmet kasi texture, the graphics, the, ito yung pagkakalagay ng mga vents dito, yung pagkaka-integrate sa helmet, even the necro. The, the first uh, LS2 helmet that I had, it didn't have the necro, so makaka-amaze yung LS2 na ngayon. ABS plastic, so it offers good amount of protection, pero ABS plastics are designed for high speed impact, so the, these are just these offer optimal protection only for low speed impact. If you want high speed impact na protection, bumili kayo ng mas ng, ng either fiberglass or even uh, or carbon fiber. Right? So the graphics and the pagkakagawa ng mismong you know the texture sa labas, it's nice. I'm a medium guys, medium size. So, tatry natin mamaya. Wow! So, yung visor nito, pinlock ready. If you're not familiar with pinlock, it, it's an insert on front of the visor para it provides anti-fog uh, features, no? If you're riding on a very humid uh, place or malamig na lugar, when you exhale, ba napapansin nyo na parang nagkakaroon ng fog yung visor nyo? For you to get rid of that, you just need to buy the pin lock insert and then kabit nyo dun sa visor nyo. You won't have that annoying fog in front of your visor. Guys, this kind of feature, yung mga pagiging pin lock ready, it's actually a feature na madalas mong makikita sa ibang, sa ibang mas pricier na helmets. And for this kind of helmet to have at its price range, plus points sa pagiging bang for the buck na helmet na to. So, let's try the visor test. Okay, so isang click. Isang click here. 
and palanganin na click here. Okay, well, I think it just has one click here. One click there, and one click to close it. Akala ko parang lock siya. It turns out hindi siya lock. Parang siyang stopper lock. It's okay. Ah, mga amoy bag. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, sa may sinasabi dito na quick release yung visor nila ng LS2. So, paano yun? I don't know how to... So guys, uh, I'm not getting how... I don't know yet how to remove the visor. Baka masira ako pa. So, so mamaya, I'll figure out how to remove the visor and I'll update you sa Facebook and IG. Follow me in, follow me in Facebook and IG. Ah. O, oh, diba? Ang galing ko sa may way. Naka-plug. Facebook, Lois Kimoto. And uh, Instagram, Lois Kimoto PH. Now, I'm not sure if that's the same with the class 1 optics, but uh, sinabi naman nila na optically correct. Tingnan natin. Yeah, I think it's a if it's if it's not technically the same, I think it's just as good as the class 1 optics that we have. But that I have to to check pa pag na na-ride ko na tong helmet na to. Okay, so okay na tayo sa visor, no locking mechanism, but pin lock ready. And guys, to think ah, my other helmet, uh, the belt helmet that I reviewed, hindi pa pin lock ready yun. You have to buy another Panavision shield na may uh, pin lock ready. So, diba? Mga ganitong features. And ito pang napansin ko guys ah, attention to detail. LS2 here, dito sa mechanism ng visor niya. Sa mga hindi familiar, itong Itong part na to, tawag dyan is breath, uh, breath deflector. So, yung hininga mo na ini-exhale mo, dine-deflect niya para huwag mapunta dito sa visor. So, it doesn't build up moisture or yung parang fog. Especially malapit na ng December, where months na lumalamig, wala ka pa rin jowa. <coughs> Yan yung purpose niya. Uh, okay, so typical uh, for a budget helmet like this, the inner uh, cheek pads or linings, well, I can say cheap materials. But guys, nagre-reglamo po ba tayo sa price point na to? Especially, removable siya. So, pwede mo siyang labahan ng labahan. Walang problema doon. Itong neck roll na to, natatanggal to. Ito. ito sorry. Ito pala yung camera. <laughs> so, itong neck roll na to, itong neck roll na to, natatanggal to para malaban mo. You know, kasi over time, syempre buwabaho yan. Napupunta dyan yung pawis mo. But, it's not, it's cheap. Okay, it's cheap. Pero, hindi yung cheapy pie na alam mo yung parang, yung parang with just a few uses and makukunit na or what. If you have already experienced the feel of, you know, the premium quality cheek pads or inner linings, madidistinguish mo talaga. But, not to complain, I mean, it's still soft to the touch. Parang, it's not parang sa cheeks. Cheek pads, removable, inner linings, removable. I, it's not chin guard. It's on chin guard. Uh, chin curtains. It's on chin curtains. Well, it's not. I don't think removable siya. Baka mapunit ko eh. I don't think removable siya. Pero madaling na lang yan gawa ng paraan para laban. Okay. Ito. Here's the thing. Ito yung tinatawag na quick release strap ni LS2. Ayan. So, you just pull this tab. And then, ayan yung may mga grooves. Diyan sumasabit itong lock para, yeah, well, to, to, keep, to keep the helmet uh, in place. Now, it's a love or hate relationship. Uh, some hate it, some love it. Ako, I love it kasi madali siyang tanggalin. If you, if you have to take your helmet off, hilahin mo lang tong mechanism na to, tanggal mo helmet mo. And it says hypoallergenic. So, may mga allergies kayo sa skin. Well, at least, di ba, hypoallergenic yung helmet so you won't have to worry. Oh, guys! Let me tell you, LS2 is being used in MotoGP, right? So that's just one testament na they can really make these quality helmets. So it just so happened that we're just reviewing their budget helmets and check niyo yung mga off-road helmets nila. The graphics are really sarap sa mata. Yun yung pala, yung weight niya. It says 1.3 or 1,300 grams, 1.3 kilos. 
if you're gonna ask me the value or all the features that you get from this price point, this is one of the best bang for the buck helmet. A lot of helmet for its price point. And you know, my graphics, diba? I use it. And maraming options yung graphics niya. And personally, I am gonna buy another uh, LS2 Rapid na ibang graphics. Um, that will be the matte titanium. Just for the fact na gusto ko marami akong helmet. So kung puno yun yung buong yung buong pader ko ng helmet. Lastly, we're gonna try it on. Right? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Malaki lang talaga yung tenga ko, kaya medyo... <laughs> Ayun, yun. Ayusin mo na yung tenga. Okay. Here. It fits sa ulo. Okay. Maganda. Just a little bit more pressure sa tenga ko. Kasi, this, kasi nga, this is uh, a long oval. So, much more narrow here, but longer from front to back. Ang gaan. And... The shell size. Ito ang nagustuhan ko dito sa helmet na the shell size. Mas maliit siya tingnan. And, right, so... Masarap niya sa cheeks. Magaan. Alright guys, tatanggalin ko na. Oh no! Whew. But, again, guys, there you have it. LS2 FF353. I mean, take it from me. I've been an LS2 user back then. And I'm much more impressed sa quality na nakita ko, nakita ko ngayon and the features that or this helmet has. Price, it's only 2,950. Right. 3,000 guys. 3,000 pesos mo may sukli ka pa. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, there you have it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and review of this uh, beautiful LS2 FF353 Rapid. Uh, if you have questions or, you know, kung may mga tanong man kayo, whatever, comment down below. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace, 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 peace.